where another chapter is written in the storybook storybook time between two incredible teams as the Monco Mustangs go up against the Marshalltown Tigers. And a story history indeed between these two teams. This is the third meeting this school year between the Mustangs and the Tigers. And in the first game in the fall, the Mustangs taking a big win over the Tigers, breaking their undefeated streak and keeping their own. But the Tigers fought back in the NJCAAE Tier 2 Finals, taking the national title away from the Mustangs in five grueling games of Overwatch 2. Now, in the, in the spring semester, the Mustangs look to take one up on the Marshalltown Tigers as they look to get another great victory over them and set themselves up as undefeated uh, going into the playoffs in just a couple of weeks. And the way that they're going to do that is with a slightly different lineup than what, what, than what once was against this Tigers team. And of course, this starting lineup cannot happen without our captain in the tank position, Finley, who's been playing incredibly in that position all season, despite being a DPS main. Now mating in DPS, we've got Retro in the tank position. Last time he played Marshalltown. But still playing great and on top of his game alongside Sundown, who has not yet played this Tigers offense along with Ryan in the support position. But the two of them poised and ready for a showdown against that incredible Marshalltown Tigers team. Ending off our roster tonight, we've got Recon. Another support ready to go to war for the Mustangs as we get things ready to go. Of course, I am Jacob, a.k.a. Corrupted, and I'm happy to have all of you here for what's going to be an incredible game of Overwatch 2 here tonight. Like I said before, these two teams are the powerhouses of the NJC AAE, AAE Tier 2 Overwatch 2 semester. Both of these teams are undefeated going into this, into this game 4-0 and o each. Whoever comes out of this game will not only take pride in winning the majority of the matches that these two teams have played together thus far, but they will also take pride in leading our great division. That number one seed highly coveted for a nice run in the playoffs. The Mustangs looking to make that as this is our captain Finley's last semester. Again, in that tank role, he is a top 500 DPS by day, but by night is a menace on tank. Retro and Sundown, an incredible DPS duo, getting better by the week as we look to move things forward. And obviously on support, Ryan and Retro. Two guys filling some big shoes on that team. We now are going to take you live to our Potsdam facility as this Mustangs team gets themselves ready to go here tonight. Finley there in front of the camera, ready to go against this Marshalltown team. Him above all, looking for some hardware in his sunset season for the Monco Mustangs. As we now wait patiently for everything to get started here, I hope you guys are excited as I am. Please make sure to show your support for this incredible Mustangs roster in chat as we wait to get Lobby and everything else set up here. Marshalltown, obviously a great powerhouse team, big players in this NJ League. And the Mustangs poised and ready for a brutal, brutal fight tonight. As the last two games have been in their first meeting in the fall semester, the Mustangs took a 3-0 victory. These games, best out of five in the regular season and in the playoffs. So all to play for. And they took a big win in the regular seasons, the Mustangs. But unfortunately, in our live event last season, in that finals match, it went to a pivotal game of five. The Mustangs were not able to hold on there. It gave Marshalltown one of two national championships they won that semester. That being in Overwatch 2 and in their Mario Kart 8 Deluxe game as I am getting invited to lobby here uh, but the Mustangs have been anticipating this matchup all season long they are absolutely jazzed up for this 
as the second that they learned that they were going to be up against this team, this Marshalltown Tigers lineup, the same lineup that beat them in the finals just a couple of months ago, the hype started rolling in. Obviously, I get to see all communications between the team. So it was a great thing in order to really get to know this team and how excited they were for this matchup. And I know Marshalltown is too. As uh, we get things ready, we get to see one of our esteemed members of the team, Gilly. Uh, unfortunately, uh, he was a part of the roster that lost in the finals. Uh, and he is now taken a step back and has put himself into the coaching role here as a great asset to this roster, his support position being taken over by Ryan, who has filled those shoes graciously. And again, like I said, Sundown and Ryan, not a part of this roster last semester, but so ready to go here. As you can see, the now, once again, in our Pottstown facility, getting hype, getting ready to go. I have been excited about this matchup since last season as well, because these two teams... I mean, they just go at it. This NJ Tier 2 division is one that is quite a mixed bag when it comes to roster compatibility. This Mustangs team sitting Platinum, Platinum, and GM, as you guys can see in their intros, you know, it's hard to find even competition in these types of leagues, but this Marshalltown team is just that. They are the ultimate team. As we just get things set up. As we wait to get everything set up, very in chat, another great asset for the Mustangs here. As we are getting things ready to go, the entire lobby is ready. The Mustangs are in their seat and ready. It looks like we're going to be heading to a nice, nice trip to Nepal in our first game of the night. It's going to be what is called a control point game. This game mode, I will explain everything. Don't worry once we get into things. But the Mustangs revved up and ready to go. I know the Marshalltown is also ready to go as we are both very excited to get things started. And now we just wait for the clear from both teams and the mustangs will be the first ones to say ready in the chat to get some hype brewing for this mustangs lineup i know you guys are all as excited if not more excited than i am here though my excitement really off the charts i've been talking to these guys all day and all week as we've looked to prepare for not just this, but a good playoff run in the NACE League. That's going to be next week on Tuesday, 7 p.m. as we go up against West Texas A&M. That league is a league against four-year universities. And us being a community college, we're looking to prove ourselves over there. We have time and time again against teams that heavily recruit kids and are able to present them with scholarships we have shown that we are just as much of competitors despite the fact that we are just a community college it's going to be a good run in playoffs over there as uh everything looks to be lining up these mustangs definitely ready to go and i'm ready to go let's get this thing started come on as i believe the mustangs just gave the all clear As uh, I think we're just waiting on one or two more things as I'm just kind of waiting to hear back from them. This is the fun part where we all kind of sit and wait patiently for these two teams to be ready 
Uh, obviously, a lot of preparation goes into these games. Both teams sending out scouting reports on one another. I know these guys, the Mustangs, have been looking at film all week long to understand the comps coming out of the Marshalltown Tigers in order to best go against them on every map possible, as well as polishing off our own beautiful comps that you guys will be able to see in just a few minutes, hopefully even sooner than that. As, uh... Getting some hype brewing. I ha I'm i so happy to see everyone in chat here tonight. As we just get this thing patiently waited here. And the Mustangs say that they're ready. Marshalltown shows that they're ready. It's time to watch some Overwatch. As we head to Nepal on control. And a great game brewing here. Like I said before, this is what's referred to as a control point map. So you can see here, this beautiful square in the middle will light up in about 20 seconds. That will be our control point. It is best two out of three maps. So you're gonna wanna win two out of three maps. You do that by taking the control point and getting 100% on that top. The Mustangs in yellow on the right the Marshalltown Tigers in purple on the left. And both teams ready to go here. As everyone is ready, the Mustangs coming out with an Orissa Cup. Retro's gonna take over the tank position. They've moved Finley onto DPS. So the comp out of the Mustangs, you guys can see in the top right. Retro on Orissa, Finley on Symmetra, Sundown on. <laughs> on Sojourn, Recon on Lucio, and Ryan on Baptiste going up against the Mauga Cop. As everyone is ready to go, we'll move on to Finley here. As they'll get to point right as the Marshalltown Tigers do. That may could prove annoying towards the Mustangs as they take immediately immediate moves on point. Mustangs off to the left hand side as they'll look to take down these Tigers quick and easy here tonight. First kill of the game goes on to Finley. He's on that tracer roll. And the point's gonna go firmly in the hands of Marshalltown. Retro all the way up front against that Maugum. So be backed up, unfortunately. Like I said, that may proven pivotal as she will take down our tank of Retro. Mustangs make a couple of quick swaps as Sundown moves on to Reaper. Finley will stay on the tracer as we'll look to get this thing started. Finley around that left-hand side. Almost 30% now for the Tigers here on map one. The Mustangs taking a two-prong approach. Finley looking to get as much little bit of poke damage as possible. We'll move things over to our support of Recon on that Lucio. He's played so beautifully there. First ultimate of the game coming out from the enemy, Moira. Retro, not far behind. He'll activate his one. Finley gets one. Sundown gets one as the Mustangs look to take point back from the Tigers. They'll take it. 56% though for the Tigers. Finley and Retro push forward looking to get it up towards spawn there. And the Mustangs will take a step back and regroup. All members of their team back up to full health. Two ultimates used, or three ultimates used in that fight. Recon and Sundown both close to theirs. Sundown a little bit further behind because he made that pivotal switch on to Reaper. Finley now finds himself alone as he'll look to get out of there. Sundown getting in some good damage. He'll be able to wraith right out of there. Ultimate comes out from the enemy soldier as he'll immediately pick off Finley. The Mustangs all moving around. Ryan unable to take him off. Retro able to take down the ulting soldier. Now as the Mustangs press 40%, things are kind of even here. As Sundown uses his ultimate. He will be able to take down the May, but Retro and him will fall. Recon holding point beautifully as Finley able to make his way back. 
Mustangs now able to crest it past the Tigers as Recon falls. Finley keeping himself on point as much as possible. He's got his ultimate ready, not able to take down everyone. They're able to move out of the way. Meanwhile, Ryan and Sundown both make their way back to point. They'll lead Retro in. Now up towards 70% towards for the Mustangs as they'll get things started. Finley and Retro both will fall. Sundown will fall as well. Ryan makes his way back after being able to pick off that Mauga. I'm at the fighting condition. Mustangs now have to reset as Marshalltown now up towards 65%. We're only a few team fights away from the end of this first map here. Finley once again on that tracer, able to get a good pick on that May. Mustangs convincingly take back that point as Retro gets another great ult off. As Immortality Field is taken out, the Mustangs take back the point, 87% for these Marshalltown Tigers. Like I said, this is some incredible Overwatch out of both of these teams. Both teams taking vital kills off of one another. We see Finley up top. Once again, those off angles proving pivotal. As Finley gets in on the soldier here, he'll be taken out. Now go old, able to take down a few. 87% now as the Mustangs bring it up to 95%. The Mustangs are gonna switch over to some incredibly quick characters as they now press 93, 94%. Finley's gonna look to get to point here before things fall off. Will anyone be able to touch? They will be able to force in overtime here as Recon makes it to point. Retro making the switch onto Hammond. That Soldier Oil coming out, he'll once again take down Finley. Retro uses his ultimate, some great damage there. Recon able to capitalize on that in order to take down the Soldier. Retro will fall as the Mustangs keep it on point. Recon gets his ult and promptly uses it. They move their way around point. Finley able to get a good kill as Sundown is taken out. DPS kill for DPS kill. That Mauga though might give the Mako Mustang some breathing room here. Retro has made his way back to point still on that Hammond as it's the quickest thing this side of the Pennsylvania border. It's just a great fight here. Finley unfortunately falls. Retro makes his way around. Once again, another ball on point. The May ultimate coming out. Retro will fall. A damage orb sent out. And the Tigers will take the first map off, off of the Mustangs here tonight. And such a close game between these two teams. What it came down to was that first team fight. It gave Marshalltown the pacing in order to get that first map victory over the Mustangs. The Mustangs definitely not down and definitely not out as well as they'll look to take another map back and force map three here in game something. Retro makes the switch over to Mauga, a character he has not played all too often in, in competitive Overwatch as he has been in that DPS position. Now we'll get to see his skills as he'll go up against the Sigma of the Marshalltown Tigers. They'll make their way onto point. Immediate attack here by Retro. Finley on, on the Sombra now. Reworked in the previous few seasons, playing a really nice role here as both teams find themselves away from point. Point opening in just about two seconds here. Retro makes his way forward with Sundown. That Tracer finds himself on point. Finley finds himself brought out by the Sigma. Recon just barely off the map. He'll look to get out of there. He won't be able to. Mustangs on point. They'll be able to hold it for just a little while longer. Retro, Ryan will fall. And as all five of the Mustangs point will once again go to the Marshalltown Tigers. Mercy on call. Just what Up I was towards 10% for. now as we see Finley move over to the Sojourn. Sundown makes his way on to Soldier 76. Retro back on that Orissa. Finley one to be admired with his aim. His top 500 DPS skills come into play here tonight. 
as he will play masterfully here. As Recon will fall, he made the switch over to Mercy. Retro getting some revenge on another support. They'll make their way onto point. Kitsune Rush comes out from Riot. They'll trap the Sigma in the corner. Retro will be able to take him out. Mustangs take the point. 44% for the Tigers. Finley will be taken out on the back end as the Mustangs find themselves cornered on the point. The Kiriko or the Tracer right above them. Finley will get revived by the Recon. Retro looking to make his Javelins count. He'll get bombarded with an incredible amount of damage. Here's the front line for these Mustangs. They look to take the point here. A nice ult by, by the Tracer, and the Soldier will take out three of the Mustangs. As the rest of the Mustangs fall, only 32% gained there. The look to take things back here. Definitely not the best position for the Mustangs to be in here tonight. They do not want to go a game down. Finley's got his railgun 85% of the way to his ultimate ult advantage. Gonna go to the Tigers. They've got two of them charged and ready to go. Meanwhile, the Mustangs looking close to four of their ultimates. And Ryan charging his ultimate up quickly as Retro makes his way onto point. As Ryan will fall from a quick burst, Retro will fall. And Recon able to bring him back up, but Finley will fall. Retro will make his way to point and force the overtime. The Mustangs look to make an improbable hold here. Recon able to get out of that back room, Ryan unable to. As overtime's gonna come to a close, Finley unable to make it to the point, and the Mustangs will fall in game one to the Tigers. And a great game one on both sides of the field, play of the game, gonna go to the Soldier on the Tigers. Nice little play of the game out of him. Three out of four kills there. And the Mustangs already on the back foot here tonight, but not too far on the back foot, I must say, as they pulled out a couple of really nice comps with the Orissa and with the Mauga in the beginning of map two. But unfortunately, the Marshalltown Tigers able to control the tempo just as they were in the finals of last semester's season. Definitely a tough spot to be in for the Mustangs, but definitely a winnable spot as we saw some really great team fights out of them, able to take some great room off of the Tigers. Nepal, not typically a map that we see the Mustangs play here. Hopefully we'll get back to basics, give ourselves a good map on this next game mode, which will be hybrid. Once again, I will explain everything once we get in onto the map. But obviously the Mustangs not in the best position here, but definitely spirits still very high. If there's one thing that these th this Mustangs team can do, it's keep the energy incredibly high. Not only in the facility, but in their mental game, as the Mustangs will take their talents to Hollywood. I completely, this slipped my mind until just now. Nepal, not a map that either team chooses. The Mustangs have chosen Hollywood as their hybrid map of choice. But the NJC AAE requires that the control point map is a set map that they will say at the beginning of each competition week. So last week it was Antarctic Peninsula. This week it was Nepal. But the Mustangs now ready to go here for game two as they look to get things rolling on Hollywood. A map from Overwatch 1, one I particularly enjoy a lot. A lot of great games played on there. A hard third point to grab. But the Mustangs in a big position here to even things out and force a game four out of Marshalltown as they'll look to get the ball rolling here both uh, intentionally and, you know, I was trying to make a joke there. It didn't land as well as I thought it would, but you guys get it.
Obviously, these two teams ready to go. Retro is going to stay in the tank position. Finley will stay in that DPS position. It's pivotal that he's able to stay alive and continue to grant room for the rest of the Mustangs on the offensive and defensive end as we look to get things started. I'm going to switch up the UI colors here just to make them ready to go. Mustangs ready to go here as we will take a trip to Hollywood. Welcome to Hollywood. The Mustangs ready for a fight, hoping to tie things up here. Marshalltown looking to extend their lead to two. The Mustangs looking to get the ball rolling. And welcome to a hybrid map as these guys play a little bit before the game starts. Everyone still has to load in. And here we go. This is what's called a hybrid map. What makes this different, unlike both teams attacking one another, like on a control point map, this game mode has a definitive attacker's and defender side you'll see here in just about 10 seconds a little circle open up around this limousine the object of this first checkpoint is to control the checkpoint the attacking team looking to take it out from the defending team if they're able to grab this checkpoint they will be granted access to the push mode and two and a half minutes of extra time you see that square opening up now these doors right here will open once and if the Tigers are able to put or the Mustangs are able to push through the Tigers. The cart will be pushed down this path, make a left hand turn here and reach these double doors here. Well, they'll be granted another minute and a half of time and an extra point. Once that's secured, it will go right down these sections and finally park in the VIP parking spot. If three points are achieved by both sides, we'll go to an overtime. Those rules will definitely be explained once and if we get to an overtime. The Mustangs coming out with a Winston Cop Retro on that Winston. Finley staying on the Tracer. Sundown on Echo. Recon on Lucio and Ryan on Kiriko. As we see a very similar Sigma Cop out of the Tigers. We'll see how that Torbjorn plays in as Retro able to grab that Sigma off of High Point almost immediately here. Finley makes his way around the back end as well. Mustangs now ready to go. Three minutes and 30 seconds on the clock. Retro makes his way to high ground as he'll make his way down and around. Sundown, the first to fall in this matchup as we see Finley running around. Double kill there, or triple kill for the enemy tank. Not the best first push out of the Mustangs as we end our first minute of games here. Retro falls. And Recon will fall as well. All five Mustangs will come back and regroup. But it doesn't look like any changes out of them just yet. As we see them remain on their characters of choice. Retro tries to make it up top, unable to do so. He'll be able to do it this time, and he'll push that Sigma once again off of the high ground. Riot and Recon meet him up top. Meanwhile, Finley looking to grab a kill of his own on the Soldier or the Torbjorn. That Mercy preventing him from doing so. Ultimate comes out from the Sigma as Finley gets burst fired. Multiple Mustangs are sitting low. Retro able to activate his ultimate. He'll get a kill. He's able to take the He's able to take the Mercy out of the res to prove fairly well. 
It's not going to be enough as Molten Cole comes out. Now with a minute and 40 left on the clock, Mustangs have two ultimates, Finley and Ryan's, ready to go. But with a minute and 36 seconds left, their strategy is not working. They'll switch things up by moving Retro over to Zarya. A lot more survivability on the Zarya. We'll see what happens here. Finley still on that Tracer. So look to use his ultimate. Not sure what he'll look to do afterwards, though. Maybe see a turn and burn here. So he will not be able to do anything with his ultimate. He will fall. Less than a minute left for the Mustangs to make a push here. Recon will also fall on his way back. Retro and Ryan make their ways back. Finley makes his way onto a fan favorite Genji. So look to make a deeper impact on this game with just 30 seconds remaining. Remember, they will get an extra two and a half minutes if they're able to grab that control point, but they need to grab the control point in order to do that. Kitsune Rush comes out from Ryan, but an ultimate from the soldier comes out. Recon and Sundown able to shut down one support and one DPS. Ryan gets yet another ultimate out of here. Lucio will try to use his ultimate. The soldier will come back to life. Sundown uses his ultimate in order to grab some great room there. That soldier will come around. He'll be fallen. It's just a support and their tank. Is that Mercy trying as hard as possible to keep that tank alive in the long run. Retro has made the move onto Ball. Mercy finally taken out. The Mustangs now still looking close as Sundown is taken out. Finley does have his blade at his disposal. Finley able to get a nice kill there and the Mustangs are gonna look to take point. And the Mustangs in this overtime will look to grant themselves an extra two and a half minutes. Will anyone be able to touch before that? No, they won't. The Mustangs grant themselves more time with an adjusted cop. Retro on Hammond, Finley on Genji, Sundown on Tracer, Recon still on that Lucio, and Ryan on that Kiriko. And as soon as I say that, Sundown makes the switch over to Sojourn. Finley kind of left off to the races right now to do what he does best on this Genji. It's what helps got him that top 500 status this season. As the Mustangs trying to move this thing as far forward as possible. If they are unable to move this thing forward, they will stop where they lie. As Finley's ultimate is completely negated by the McCree. Is not going to be the one that Finley enjoys. So the Mustangs all get out of there. A minute and 30 seconds now remain in this game. As they'll look to get back into things as quickly as possible. They've got Kitsune Rush. Finley has made the move on to the Widow. He knows where this team is. He'll look for those off angles. Ryan looking low already. He'll take a shot. An unfortunate miss there. He'll get a nice little shot off. The Mustangs make their way up. Kitsune Rush comes out. Sundown grabs one. Unfortunately, another from Retro. As they'll make their way forward. Finley will be taken down by the Moira as the rest of the Mustangs are able to clean up the remainder of this Tigers lineup, this Tigers defense. Now with 38 seconds on the clock, Mustangs are once again gonna cut things very close. Another two team fights ready to go as they'll make the switch over to a Winston comp. Finley back over on the Genji. So we'll see a Genji and a Widow out. Kiriko, Ryan will fall. Finley will fall to the opposing Genji here. 
Someone's gonna have to make a touch. It's gonna be recut. We'll see ultimates coming out from the remainder of the Mustangs here as they once again are forced in overtime. Sundown will use his ultimate to try to get one. He'll only be able to grab one. Retro and Ryan will both fall. Finley looks to make his way back. Will he be able to get back in time? No, he won't. That is where the cart will lie. The Mustangs now in a very tricky position as they're gonna have to hold off the Tigers. No overtime situation here. It's all or nothing. So we'll see here in just a second where this cart lies. So close to that second checkpoint. So close to that second checkpoint is where the Mustangs are gonna have to hold the Tigers to. Anything below this checkpoint and the Mustangs get a win. But if they're able to match, the Tigers will be able to grab their second game off of the Mustangs. And game three will be in peril for the Monko team. So you see Mother of Retro in chat. Great to have some of the parents here with us tonight cheering on your kids. Your children. I feel like kids is not the best word for college age students. And the Mustangs coming out with a Sigma cop with Retro on that Sigma, like I just said. Finley on Soldier. Sundown on the Sojourn. Recon on Kiriko. And Ryan on Baptiste. Mustangs once again in a very tough position here, but not one that they can't get out of. It's going to be a tough, toughly fought game as we see that Winston comp once again with a Winston, Echo, Genji, Moira, and Mercy. It's all going to start here with a great stop on this first objective point. Retro are going to take the brunt of the impact here. Again, he's able to grab that Winston out. But he will almost immediately fall there. Winston looking for more. He'll be able to get Ryan as well. Mustang's finally able to take him down as the Echo looking a little low. She'll be taken down as well. Sundown and Finley defending that point from the two DPSs left out of this Marshalltown Tigers deep offense. Sundown makes his way around. Great kills on the Winston last time out. Once again, see that Winston trying to play hard to get along with that Echo who's sitting just behind him. Again, he'll be able to jump in onto Ryan. He'll grab two before he is once again taken down by Ryan or by Sundown. Mercy looking low. They'll be able to take him out. And Retro, Finley, and Sundown hold off another advance. Two minutes and 25 seconds now. Recon still in that Kiriko. Ultimates charging none as of yet. Mustangs taking some similar steps here. That Genji off to the right-hand side. Finley, only 2% as he will grab his ultimate. Retro looking low. He'll be able to get in for his support. Finley uses his ultimate. He'll be able to grab one. Sundown helps him with two. And an ultimate that only grabs two kills is so pivotal here on who he takes down. Minute and 43 seconds left. Four minutes is such a long time to hold on these maps, but every second counts. Retro still on that front line, looking confident as ever in that tank position. One ultimate ready for the Mustangs, two ultimates ready for the Tigers, almost four for the Tigers, almost four for the Mustangs. Two wonderful support ultimates that complement each other oh so well are about to come out to play. Ultimate coming out all around. Sundown will grab the first kill with his, but he will be taken down by the Winston. Echo's ultimate not doing much there. Kiriko taken down. Ryan also taken down as Sundown finds himself on point. 
You'll be not able to grab anybody with that ult. The Kiriko comes over to defend themselves. And it's just Retro here. As we'll see the rest of the Mustangs try to make their way onto point. Retro recon both fall. Sundown tries to get back, unable to. With 35 seconds left on the clock. Two thirds now. Mustangs will take further back defensive positions. They will give up point for a better team fight here. Three minutes is all that remains in this game. No extra time will be awarded to either team. And the Mustangs have all of that time to hold off the Tigers. It is quite the daunting task, and the Mustangs switch it up in order to do so. Retro now on Diva, Finley now on Tracer, Sundown, Recon, and Ryan all stay the same on Sojourn, Kiriko, and Baptiste, respectively. We're gonna see a nice little diva fight here as the Sigma has now changed over to a diva. Retro looks to get out of that fight. Kitsune Rush comes out as Nano, as a blade will come out as well. Able to use one, Finley able to take out the Echo. Sundown will unfortunately fall. Finley finds himself running around on point with that Kiriko, who will not be able to escape. Neither will the Mercy. Meanwhile, Retro on point. Finley does have his ultimate available to him. He's not going to use it. All that's left on point is that Diva, who is now demacked. Ryan able to grab that kill. And now with a minute and 30 seconds left on the clock, these are going to be some incredible, incredible team fights. Almost three ultimates ready for the Mustangs. Almost three ultimates ready for the Tigers. Retro currently winning that ultimate fight with the Divas there, though. You see that Echo Diva moves out of them. That Diva looking to make ground. Retro going to follow him closely. Getting both supports. So who's on the DPSs? Finley backing up our very own Diva with just a minute left. We've got three ultimates ready for the Mustangs. Two ultimates ready for the Tigers as they use up their Mercy. Who is taken down by Finley? As an ultimate comes out from Retro, he'll be able to remack and get back into the fight. Or no, he won't. He'll be taken out. Meanwhile, on the opposing end, we see another remack kill. Kitsune Rush coming out from the Mustangs. Ryan gets will get taken down as Sundown able to get a kill. Mustangs now will push back with just 30 seconds on the clock. This is gonna be a huge, huge team fight here as they'll look to prevent this and get a win here and tie things up. Mustangs only have two ultimates available to them. Ones that can be taken down with some easily move taken. 2.1 meters remain. Mustangs able to prevent an Echo Ultimate here, but nobody's on part. The Mustangs, the Mustangs take the victory. I thought, wait, who took the victory? Wait, I believe the victory in this one goes to the Tigers. As none of the Mustangs were on cart, too focused with the Tigers offense. Retro will get play of the game here, playing it beautifully up top, but it's not gonna be enough. The Tigers take a two lead over the Mustangs here, and it's oh so close going into game three. Both teams being called the Mustangs in the lobby. And obviously what happened there, a little bit of a miscommunication. They fall off cart to defend one another. They didn't think Marshalltown was looking and they're able to just touch cart. It goes that extra 2.1 meters. And the win will go to Marshalltown. It is best three out of five. So we'll see what the Mustangs go with for this third map. But they're going to need to pull out a reverse sweep here if they want any chance of going 5-0 and oh in this, in the NJCAA League. Obviously not the best night so far for the Mustangs. They are definitely looking forward for this game three. Take a quick look inside our Pottstown facility. See these members of the Mustangs sitting patiently. These guys are definitely ready to go.
in that deep mindset, deep thinking here as they will look to take a win off of this Marshalltown team that has been on fire here tonight. Gilly looking to get them hyped up just a bit as we get things ready to go. As it looks like the Tigers are going to take a little bit of a break here. Take some time to their to themselves. As we now wait patiently for this for this matchup to get going yet again. But the Mustangs, like I said before, backs up against the wall. They've been here before and they've been able to manage their way through it. But it's definitely going to be a tough road ahead. Going into the push map, or not into the push map, into the, I believe it's a push map, uh, or the escort map that we see next here for this game three. Marshalltown has its all to play for here as the Mustangs I can currently see inside the facility. You guys can't. They'll get up, they'll take a stretch, and they will take a breath as they look to get ready for game three. Definitely not what we want to see out of the Mustangs here tonight, but very, very close matches indeed. Those team comps coming together for the Mustangs as they start to build their momentum. We'll hope to see that on the escort map in just a few minutes time. But before that, talking about the Mustangs performance, just losing those pivotal team fights, whether it be on that control point map where they weren't able to keep the point or able to start with that point. They were consistently on the back foot and they didn't do themselves any favors when it came to the hybrid map. Of course, taking it to overtime on that point, on the control point that they had to grab before they can even grab the cart. It really puts you at a huge disadvantage. They did themselves some favors on the defensive end, making a really strong hold on a point that it's really hard to get back to once you die. Retro, Sundown, Finley specifically really keeping themselves locked in on that point. Unfortunately, though, when it came down to it, nobody was on the point when it mattered the most. 2.1 meters. That is about maybe a second, second and a half that the enemy team needs to be touching point in order to get the victory. You need to plant someone on that point and keep them there. And that is an easier said than done statement. The Mustangs have done it before and have been in tricky situations before. It's a really funky hitbox when it comes to these types of escort maps. And unfortunately, it takes just taking a step off for that cart to be pushed just that little bit further. But the Mustangs, I know that they're in the right headspace right now. I know that they're exactly where they need to be in order to turn this night around and get a couple of really great victories off of this Tigers team. And even if they're not able to do that here tonight, they're in a good position against this team. They've now learned them as we get things ready to go. This doesn't mean that we're out of playoffs. It just means that we're the two seed, which is not what the Mustangs want here. This is not what Finley wants in his sunset season with the team. But if that is the situation, we will prove time and time again that we are a force to be weckoned with. That this Mustangs team does not go down without an incredible, incredible fight. And these guys are fully prepared to show down and show out for the rest of the night here. As the Mustangs now re-enter the facility, we'll get ready to start here with Game 3. But we're going to look to see some similar comps out of the Mustangs. That Diva really worked for them on the defensive end. So we'll probably see that on this next escort map wherever we end up going out of the Mustangs. I think we might even see them on the defensive end first in order to control those expectations. Because without, without those expectations of how the how to hold the point of where they need to hold till. I think it gives the Mustangs a little bit of extra breathing room. Of course, it's up to them in the end, and they're not watching stream right now, so they don't know that I'm saying this, and they could have a completely different strategy in mind, but I know that this Mustangs roster is ready for whatever comes next. These guys are definitely getting back in their seats now as they get ready to go operating around one of our two incredible facilities in Potsdam. We'll bring you guys back there just to take a look inside. Ryan, Sundown, Retro, and Finley all in the facility. Finley the only one not sitting at his desk currently. As we are very close here 
for game three. Once again, the Mustangs not in the best position here tonight. If you guys are just joining us here for stream, welcome, welcome, welcome. I am Jacob, aka Corrupted. Happy to be your host for this evening's matchup between the undefeated Monco Mustangs and the undefeated Marshalltown Tigers, who currently find themselves 2-0 over the Mustangs, looking to get a sweep of our Mustangs team. And these guys are poised and ready to go. Definitely a reset demeanor for the Mustangs. The Tigers, the one to call the timeout, but the Mustangs definitely going to benefit from it to get out there and clear their heads just a little bit as we now just, just a few minutes away here from a game three on an escort map. I'll go over what that means. If you guys have missed any of this live action, You'll be able to see it on our YouTube channel, Mustangs Esports. Over on YouTube, all of our streams posted there immediately after stream ends. So just give it like an hour and it will be up. Um, be able to catch all the live action from the rest of this season and our NACE season, which we will be continuing next week in the playoffs. Up against a couple of really great schools, starting off with West Texas A&M next week. Tuesday at 7 p.m. Join us there for that, along with our other teams going into the playoffs. This is the second to last week of the NJCAAE regular season for the Overwatch 2 team. And meanwhile, at the same time, on our sister channel on Mustangs Esports JV, currently the Mustangs Esports over the JV team for our Overwatch 2 campaign. They are playing in their match. They recently combined both their red and black teams. Uh, kind of a more of a maroon team. I don't know which season they're continuing with, but they are having a great time over there, hosted by Slimesicle. And I believe all the Mustangs are back now. Mustangs ready to go as we're going to head over to one of my favorite maps, Circuit Royale in the beautiful hills of Monte Carlo. And here we go for game three. Mustangs backed into a corner. Marshalltown looking to get 3-0 over the Mustangs. The Mustangs looking to start the reverse sweep right here, right now. Like I said before, this is what's referred to as an escort map and it also gives me an excuse to talk about one of my favorite topics formula one because as you'll see here in just a second as i stroll through the streets here the cart that we are escorting is a beautifully branded torbjorn branded formula one style race car the object of this escort game mode the attacking team will take this car up through the winding streets of monaco up to this first checkpoint. They'll gain a two, an extra two and a half minutes of time. Then they'll look to push this cart even further up the hill, through the hairpin, up the left-hand turn, to the second point as we are passed by that Marshalltown Targers, Tigers defense. The Mustangs once again on the offensive end. If the Mustangs push it to this point here, they'll grab a minute and a half and pull it through the casino. Well, they'll bring it to its display area for a third point. The Mustangs coming out with a Sigma Cop. Retro on that Sigma. Finley on the Symmetra. Sundown on the May. Recon on the Lucio. And Ryan on the Baptiste. And here we go. Finley makes an e makes a quick switch over to the Sojourn. As they'll look to get things started. Mustangs pushing that card up just a little bit. Up to the archway. We'll see who makes that first move. I'm pushing in. Retro will be the first. That barrier is set up to go. He'll push the Sigma off a of high ground first. Mustangs taking territory here. So again, it all comes down to time. This corner, a tricky one for both teams. Retro getting some good damage in. Finley going to play into that protected high ground. That's so turn close to death. Finley will be able to take him out of the play. The Mustangs now inch themselves ever closer to that first checkpoint. 
Sundown, the first to fall in this matchup. Marshalltown will look to take territory with that. Finley gonna keep it locked in retro all the way forward as Recon falls to the Hanzo. And the Mustangs will take a step back towards the corner. They're not gonna give up too much territory here as Recon and Sundown both respawn. Golden guns all around. Finley gets burst shot by the soldier. The Mustangs now only have one ultimate charge, almost three ultimate charge, giving the ult advantage firmly to the Tigers. Now with just two minutes left to push it to that first checkpoint, Mustangs once again in a tough position where they're backed up and away from that cart that is now reversing into them. Mustang's looking to take some good territory here. The Sigma ultimate comes out. Dragons also come out. Sundown able to get out of the way. Retro unable to. That barrier set up as that Sigma will get burst fire, but not much there out of Ryan's ultimate on Baptiste. Ultimate now comes out from the Mercy with just a minute and 30 seconds left on the clock. And he'll be taken out. Finley will also be taken out. As Ultimate comes out from the Baptiste, just a minute left now. The Mustangs only have B charged up in their Ultimate's pool. And definitely not the best position to be in, but they're gonna look to get that extra two and a half minutes off of the Tigers. A tough match all night for the Mustangs. Definitely not the position they want to be in yet again. Mustangs going to take a little bit of space here as the May ultimate comes down. Able to grab one, able to grab two. As the Mustangs take space, they'll grab that first checkpoint. Now with two minutes and 50 seconds left on the clock, they'll take as much space as humanly possible going after that Mercy. And Finley will be able to take him down. Now we see the Sigma come, or the Sigma's been out from the Marshalltown team. That soldier ultimate's been really nice for Marshalltown all night long to look to make it stick any way that they can. Retro able to grab one, he'll take down the Hanzo. Finley uses his ultimate. He'll go in on the Baptiste who strafes him and he'll get taken down. Meanwhile, Retro gets a nice little kill as the soldier ultimate comes out. Using two ultimates there, Retro will try to negate his ultimate. He will, Ryan takes him down. And the Mustangs ever closer to that second checkpoint with a minute 38 left on the clock. Two supports stand in their way. Retro takes him out of the sky. Mustangs great for the checkpoint and three minutes are on the clock. No changes out of this Marshall Town roster. We see a change actually over to Anna in one of the supports. But the Mustangs looking to push for three here. All five of the Mustangs using every angle at their disposal. Mustangs make their way around. The ultimate comes out from the Sigma here. Finley on that card. He'll be able to take him down. The Mustangs now with room. Ryan will fall. As Retro able to trap that Hanzo in the corner, get some revenge. Finley now up top. 
Soldier looking low. Finley gets taken down. Sundown gets some immediate revenge. That Mercy will be taken down as well. So you see that Winston out. He'll look to stall things for as long as humanly possible here. Looking a little low though. As the Mustangs now will push back with just a minute and 36 left. Retro moves back, he'll be able to survive. With now a minute and 23 left on the clock, Finley goes over to Reaper. Sundown stays on that May. Same support duo and Retro with 28% of his ultimate stays on that Sigma, who now moves forward into this Marshall Town roster. We'll move back onto the Ana. Ultimate comes out from the enemy, May. As we see multiple Tigers take it down. Anna and Mercy both look to get back. Neither of them will. With 50 seconds left on the clock, the Mustangs take three points. A team kill to end things off. Things have certainly taken a different turn for Mako here in game three. They're going to look to keep it away from an overtime, but definitely good odds here. Now, in order to force an overtime out of the Mustangs, the Marshalltown Tigers are going to have to push to all three. I have chosen not to show the Mustangs in between rounds, as I'm not really sure it's a gray area in league policy, but I can explain what they're looking like right now as I can see into their facility. It's excitement. It's joy. It's this breath of fresh air. They knew that they were going to have to take it at some point. They knew that all of this pressure that they can give would have to give at some point, and it's looking like it's giving right now. Obviously, it's going to have to be a huge hold here out of the Mustangs if they're going to want to keep it that way, but a rough start to this Circuit Royale map has led to an incredible triumph out of the Mustangs. Staying with that Sigma. Staying with that Sigma cop, we see Finley over in the Sojourn and everyone else staying the same. A little bit of flexing from Finley. As we will now see that Marshalltown team try to go through connector. That cart is pushed up just a little bit. Immediately that Winston dives on the back line. He'll be able to take down Recon. Meanwhile, Retro gets one of, or Finley gets one of his own. He will fall. Recon, or Retro, the only one left. He'll stick it on cart for as long as possible. He will then fall. Finley with the sundown with the immediate switch on to Reaper. Finley stays on that sojourn. We'll see what we see out of Retro here. But a nice little first push out of the Tigers. Retro makes his way over to Diva. Very strong against this Sigma cop. We saw that before. See Shun Sundown jitter step his way around. Finley taken down by the widow. Able to grab both DPSs there. And with two minutes and 38 seconds left on the clock, Retro gonna try to grab the Lucio. He will. But up against three, four of Marshalltown's finest, he will fall. And now four minutes and 46 seconds left on the clock. As once again, we see Sundown switch back over to the May. So look to meet up with the rest of his team. The spawns going a little wonky. And some of the Mustangs will get the back-ended spawns here. That Widow putting in some great work on the Mustangs, using that ultimate beautifully. Retro will move out of there. Finley is taken down by that D.Va. Retro will be 
Retro will be able to activate his ultimate, but he'll be sniped out of mech. Four minutes on the clock, Recon pushed all the way back and taken down. Retro has ulted, but he will stay on this D.Va. No, he won't. He'll make his way back. He'll take a switch on to the Zarya. Ryan and Recon, the only two with their ultimates with some survivability there. But that Widow has proven to be an issue as Ryan takes him down. And they'll take the checkpoint now with five minutes on the clock. And that hold that I thought the Mustangs were going to have all be for nine. Ultimate comes out of the Genji here as he is nanobladed. We see this a lot out of Finley. Recon moves up here. Finley is pushed into. And again, that Widow takes him down. Four minutes and 17 seconds left as the Mustangs are pushed all the way back to the third checkpoint here. Finley will use his ultimate, but he will still be sniped by the enemy Widow. Sundown has his ultimate available to him. Let's see when he decides to use it. Retro getting into good attacks as well. Sundown uses his ultimate. Mustangs divide and conquer. Finley able to grab that widow finally. Wow, great snipe out of Finley as he'll take down that Winston to boot. Mustangs will push them off, but with three minutes and 20 seconds left on the clock, they are definitely not in the best position here, but are gonna try to hold. Retro has his ultimate, Finley, 91% of the way to his. Ryan now has his as well. Sundown and Recon both charging as Sundown will make the move on to Reaper yet again. Retro will be pushed into from the Winston. So careless. No one can hide from my sight. Pick it up, pick it up. And all of Marshalltown taking some nice sight lines here as they wait to pounce. Retro activates his ultimate. And what will he be able to grab out of this? A Lucio ultimate comes out as well. Great survivability there from the Tigers. Two minutes and 23 seconds left as we see a Nano Blade come out. Retro looking a little low. He'll be taken out by a combined shot. Finley will lose yet another Widow duel. So close with just two minutes left. Recon looking close. Ryan will look to touch point here. He will be able to do it. And so will Retro, who's made the move on to fall. Sundown will fall. Recon will also fall on that Lucio. Finley makes his way around. He'll be able to take down the Ana. But with that, three points for the, for the Tigers. And now we get ourselves into overtime. A minute and 54 for Marshalltown. A minute for the Mustangs. We'll go back again. Each team will have the opportunity to attack and push it as far forward as possible. No extra time will be given. So that means however far you push it before you are taken down off of card is however far you push it. Mustangs at the disadvantage here with a minute less of time, 54 seconds to be exact, but obviously up against the wall, Mustangs on the attack first and foremost. A back on the Sigma is Retro. You're making too much noise. It's not noise, it's music. 
Very well. You're making too much music. What would you like today? I love these cars. Wonder if they let me drive one. And here we go, the Mustangs have it all to play for right here. A minute to push that card as far forward as possible, plus whatever they can do in the overtime. See how this goes. Mustangs once again pushing forward. Finley once again on that Widow. Finley with two shots takes down the Mercy. Now with 30 seconds left, we'll take as much room as humanly possible. The most important part of this, they need to make sure that they're touching cart at the end of the next 15 seconds in order to trigger the overtime. If they are unable to do that as Finley gets another great kill, this will all be for nothing. Finley able to take out the Mercy, but not before she revives this enemy Sigma. Now the overtime has been triggered. Mustangs able to push it past that first point, and they'll continue to push things forward. He looks to get a snapshot, unable to do it. We'll move things over to Sundown. At each checkpoint, and this is the most infuriating part, at each checkpoint, the cart stays still for a certain amount of time. It's a built-in buffer. But obviously, as Retro will make the moves back, he'll switch. On to who is the question? Back to Reaper. That Winston comes right back out for these, for the Tigers. Hanzo Ultimate comes out on that card. Too little, too late. Kitsune comes out. Retro using his ultimate comes out. Then Hanzo take it down off the high ground as the Mustangs pass, push further and further up the field. The longer this overtime goes, the shorter that bar in the top will stay lit. Right now, it's probably down to less than a second. The Mustangs cannot get themselves off the car for even a half a second here, but they grab that second checkpoint. The Tigers are throwing everything out of the Mustangs here in game three. Sundown now at 47%. Finley grabs another great kill on that Widow, seeing the aim that we like to see out of him, but unfortunately he is taken down. Alari Recon using that ultimate to his advantage. Sundown grabs one as Ryan will fall. Retro the only one on cart. They pushed it forward oh so very far here. Recon on that Alari. Ryan, so much survivability. An ultimate comes out on cart, and that is going to be it for the Mustangs. An incredible, incredible push to that second checkpoint, holding it for another two minutes, and it all comes down to this: one minute, fifty-four seconds, is all that Marshalltown has, plus an overtime. But that's it. Mustangs in a good position, as they've been able to take. A lot of good control here. But once again, it all comes down to this. Mustangs looking to rise to the occasion. They look to mount an incredible comeback.
And here we go. A minute and 54 seconds. Oh, so much time. As we see Finley on that bastion now. Recon on the Moira. Ryan on the Baptiste. Sundown on the May and Retro still on that Sigma. That reflect come and go out of the Genji. Finley gets bursted. Finley gets taken down by that diva. So does Ryan. Sundown looking close. So does Retro. Retro will fall. Sundown able to grab a kill. Recon holds it off for as long as possible. Now just a minute. Finley on the Widowmaker looks to the make the difference he was able to do it in on the offensive end will he be able to do it here on the defensive end no one else has made the switch retro goes down to stall that card for as long as possible 40 seconds now we definitely will see overtime out of this marshalltown team Finley being brought in on by the D.Va, but he'll be able to take her down. D.Va ultimate comes out, not able to get anyone, but he will be able to take down Finley. But the Mustangs grabbing kills on their own without Finley there. Five seconds now remain. That D.Va's gonna have to touch cart. They able to trigger it, but the Mustangs are able to kill everyone. They take it! A look inside our Pottstown facility as the Mustangs take a game off of Marshalltown. As a relief washes over me, the Mustangs bring things within one, two to one. Marshalltown still leads as we'll get a look at the play of the game. No that Widowmaker proving sense. pivotal, a great little play. Incredible stuff. We'll bring it back over to the Potsdam facility as I will switch the home team score to one. As we look to get onto a push map now. And once again, we'll get into what that means. An incredible game going to that single overtime. Mustangs with a huge, huge hold. And I have been on the edge of my seat the entire game, and it does not stop here. We are at least going to go to a game four now, and it will be what is referred to as a push map. Once again, I'll go into what that means when we get into it. But obviously, great things out of the Mustangs on that map. Never giving up, never stepping down from a fight. Finley using that Widow. He knows that once he gets warmed up on that Widow, it is deadly. And it proved pivotal in a great team fight. And despite the fact that he was taken down by that diva, that honestly felt a part of the plan. He took it, that diva completely out of the team fight when that diva mattered the most to the rest of her team. And it gave the Mustangs the opportunity to clear house on the cart. And it puts you in that panic position at no amount of training and no amount of Playing Overwatch will get you out of that panic situation where you just need to touch by all means necessary. It means that you're going to off characters. It means that you're going in without a strategy. The strategy is to touch cart, and Marshalltown was unable to adapt to that. As soon as the D.Va realized what her mistake was, it was too little, too late. The Mustangs take her down on cart, start that overtime, and finish it just as soon as they started at that first checkpoint. Remember what I talked about before, that cart stays at the checkpoint for a couple of seconds. So even if Marshalltown gets it to the first checkpoint, they're sitting ducks for a couple of seconds as they wait to get things started. Not to mention, once overtime begins, spawns will progressively take longer and longer. And overtime, that overtime bar at the top will move faster and faster, which means on both sides of the court, it's more difficult to get back and defend. 
The Mustangs had the numbers. They had the angles in order to force anyone into just a touch or die, a touch and die situation. And it just meant victory for the Mustangs here in game three. As we look to move over to New Queen Street, New Queen Street in Canada for game four for our push map here tonight. A big win for the Mustangs as they start the reverse sweep on the Tigers. And I was hoping that the game would start as soon as I said that. But of course, I mistimed it by a couple of seconds. Here we go. New Queen Street. Here we come. And here we go. This is what is a called a beautiful little map. See this beautiful little robot in the middle. Each team will try to control this robot and push their team's color barrier. So blue, the Marshalltown team is going to look to push this barrier. And the Mustangs are going to look to push this red one. We'll follow the Mustangs one. This, this uh, map is symmetrical. Down this middle gondola section. Mustangs will look to push this barrier all the way up to this first checkpoint where they will be granted advanced spawns once the advanced spawns are granted the mustangs will look to push it up the street and end the game early by taking it to the last checkpoint here there are 10 minutes to play here mustangs coming out with a zarya cop retro on that zarya finley on mccree sundown on reaper recon on the lucio and ryan on the kiriko we have not seen McCree out of Finley. A high level of accuracy needed as we run into a Mauga Cop for the Tigers. So all the Mustangs are pushed back. Recon, the first to fall. Finley able to grab one before Ryan eventually falls. That cart is unlocked. Nobody on it. Sundown and Retro both fall. The spring flows anew. The barricade is on the move. Let's go. <laughs> What's up? As the Mustangs get back into it, Finley on that McCree, on that Cassidy, uh, will look to grab some great little touches of damage on whoever he can. Retro now back for the Mustangs as well. No switches as of yet. Finley does have his ultimate with Cassidy. Let's see what he's going to be able to do with that, but not a whole ton. Finley uses his. He'll be able to take down some of them. Ultimate comes out from the enemy, Moira. That card firmly in the control of the Tigers. Sundown creates some space using his ultimate. As Retro looks to go in on the May, Mauga is taken out. Unable to save Retro though, as they're looking close to that first checkpoint. Ryan getting close as well. Finley cuts around the sidewall. He'll be able to grab one. Oh, so close to the checkpoint here. As Finley will fall. And the forward spawns will be active for the Tigers as they are wasting no time. Seven minutes and 40 seconds on the clock. The Mustangs have a far way to push. And with advanced spawns, it's going to be made even harder. Malga moving back. The Mustangs will take this cart, but this will be exactly where the Marshalltown team wants to take this team fight. Finley still on that McCree. He's got his second ultimate of this game. Moira ultimate comes down. Finley looking for two. He'll grab one. Ultimate comes out from the enemy, May. That's Retro. Tries to go in, unable to do it. And Sundown, the only member of the Mustangs 
not to die because it looks like he's stuck up against the wall there Mustangs even in an even worse position here. Six minutes and 35 seconds. They look to grab anything they can. Retro has made the move on to Malga. The newest character in Overwatch. So get some really nice damage there. Finley on the Sombra now. Sundown remains on the Reaper. No other changes for the Mustangs lineup. Retro about a 50% health. Nothing to play for with that Reaper ultimate. We'll lose the Reaper fight. Retro will fall. They're gonna get really close to that final position here. As Finley's gonna look to stall the card out. They were able to get the May. Retro uses his ultimate to his advantage. Is that Reaper looking low? Reaper will be taken out. And that May looking low as well. Mustangs will grab the cart, but less than five meters to that final checkpoint. The Mustangs are going to have to fully turn things around in the final five minutes of this game, halfway through. Mustangs, one ultimate. It's only Finley's. We'll see how he's going to be able to utilize it. Mustang so close to taking down the advanced spawns here. Finley able to take down the Mauga. Mustangs have found a nice little comp here. Mustangs taking down two. Mustangs taking down three. He will push forward as far as humanly possible. They are now pushing. Those advanced spawns, once you get a robot past the midway point, will dissolve. They're back to their normal spawns, are the Marshalltown base team. As the Mustangs will look to gain advanced spawns of their own. Finley still has his ultimate. Recon still has his. Finley not able to get out of there. As an ultimate comes out from the enemy's Reaper, no one able to take it down. Ultimate comes out from the enemy Kiriko. Lucio forced to use his. Retro unfortunately blocked off there. Sundown close to using his. Three ultimates for these Mustangs. Three minutes and 33 seconds left to play. And a lot to play for. Sun or enemy Mauga able to take out Sun down there. Mustangs will let the Lucio ultimate fly. Ryan will be taken down. And there goes Retro as well. The rest of the Mustangs have ultimates to use. They haven't used them yet other than the Lucio one. So push that card back up, regain those advanced spawns. With two minutes and 50 seconds remaining on the clock. Not a lot stands between victory for the Marshalltown based team. Ultimate comes out from Sundown here, unable to grab anybody, but he'll be able to grab some room. Moira close, Moira down. Unfortunately, Retro too much for that Reaper. Before, unfortunately, Riot able to take down the Mauga. Push that card back up. Now two minutes left, almost at that two minute warning. The Mustangs have a far way to push. Advanced spawns will now dissolve, but all of the Marshalltown Tigers are able to respawn based off of it. Ryan has his ultimate, two ultimates, Finley's and Ryan's. Finley unable to use his since early on in this game. Get 
Tsunade Rush comes out. May Ultimate also comes out. A little bit of room given to the Tigers. This Finley should be getting ready to use an incredible little ultimate of his. Retro will be taken out. Sundown able to grab some little bit of revenge. He'll go in on the Reaper, able to grab the Reaper. May is, uh, Moira is also there. Not much there. Sundown will grab one. He will now grab his ultimate. Sundown cleaning things up nicely. They'll be able to push this thing forward just a little bit more. With just a minute left, Mustangs find themselves in a powerful position to continuously push this cart. Bant spawn now met three ultimates, four almost ready. Just like in that escort game mode, a time is given for that cart to kind of just sit. Makes your team sitting ducks. It's a little bit longer than the escorts. Retro on that Mauga, playing well as a little bit of a shield for the rest of his team. Four ultimates ready for the Mustangs. Four ultimates ready for the Marshalltown team. And here we go, 20 seconds now. Mustangs will move back, let those ultimates roll out. As they'll look to take things here. Retro able to grab one with the help. And Mustangs take a big advantage here in this team fight as they will activate the overtime. Finley has not used his ultimate all game. This is gonna to be tough for the Marshalltown team to defend from. But like I said before, these overtime rules still apply. Longer spawns and an even longer wait time to respawn. Enemy Reaper Ultimate taking down two of the Mustangs. Retro able to grab one, but a Lucio ult well timed. Retro close, Retro falls. And with nobody else and a team kill under their belts, Marshalltown <laughs> takes it in at three, in four. A great win for the Marshalltown base team here tonight. So will take a big victory over the Mustangs. Play of the game, gonna go to Marshalltown Tigers tank, who's played incredibly all night long. And that is not it for tonight's matchup. We're going to look to see if we're going to do an interview. But before that, we're going to move it over to a brief intermission. So keep yourselves locked in right here before we go into our intermission. We'll be right back.
All right, and welcome back. A tough loss for the Mustangs, falling three to one to the Marshalltown Tigers. I'm joined right now by Retro. An unfortunate loss for you guys. I mean, there's no other way to say it. What positives are you guys looking to take away from this game? Well, it's this season has been very touchy for us. I mean, we're starting to see a lot of teams counterpicking and we're just going to have to go with fight fire with fire and just start to have to like keep swapping counterpicks. It's what the game is becoming now, unfortunately. So we're just going to have to every team fight swap off the comp or somehow get a team comp that's able to build up enough ultimates to just win late games because early games it's just if we win the first fight they swap us and they counter swap us and we just lose the next few fights and it's just that's just how the game works and we just got to figure out what to do to punish it and what to like take away and build off of it well you guys definitely figured that out in game three go into that overtime obviously you know, you guys push that cart originally to three. They then push it to three. What's that mindset going into overtime on circuit? Well, we were obviously against the ropes there. So we obviously had to go big or go home. So we just went in. We just used our, we just, we were on attack first. So we just went in. We're trying to just get the staggers in, trying to keep them on the back. We're trying to keep them on their back foot, keep throwing blows one by one as we're pushing the cart forward. And in the end, it just worked where we got it to, I believe, third phase. So after that, we, we got to third phase. It's like they have to push it such a long way. We got it there in one minute. They have to do 130. If we play our cards right and use our ults right, then we can definitely just win in just one more team fight. That, all we had to do was win one team fight after OT, and that was it. Like, we won yeah. that map. And definitely some great, I don't know if it was a full strategical play on your guys' part or just a blunder on Marshalltown's part, they sent the diva after Finley, who was playing up on that high ground, gave you guys a great opportunity after that minute and 54 second hold, and you guys were able to get a great one there. Obviously, we got to see a little bit of a look inside the facility after that one win. How did that feel? Was it like a, how did that feel for you guys? <laughs> um, sorry. Um, the win, it, it, it felt amazing. I mean, obviously, our our idea was when they go on our when their tank goes on our back line we have to go in theirs we'd had to trade back lines get the advantage become the better players basically and that's what we did so it, it just felt amazing after that one win a good explosion we thought that we would be able to take the, the mako momentum got it in there um <laughs> so and got try some to, yeah i always gotta do dad jokes when i'm on stream with you but um yeah, we thought we would be able to take that momentum into the next game, and we almost got we almost got it there. We we were very close to getting that fourth map, but in the end, it was just not strong enough. We were not able to even get past like we weren't even able to get a meter in until like almost way, which was very unfortunate and very poorly made for the first half. But we it wasn't something that we could do to build to the second half, so it was just an unfortunate first half of that map that we couldn't pick up from it yeah and you know definitely a very difficult thing to kind of swallow obviously both teams going into this game four and O oh a piece marshalltown will advance to a perfect five and O. Oh. meanwhile we will fall to four and one uh what are we what are you guys planning on taking away from this marshalltown team a team that we knew no matter what this is going to be a team that we see late in the playoffs so how are you going to take this and bring it in to our matchup in the playoffs? Well, how they did it to us last uh, last season, we're going to just scout the hell out of them and just beat them. That's just how simple it is. You, we fight fire and fire, like I said earlier. Like We're going to do what they did to us last semester. And speaking of which, we're going to do exactly what they did, and we're going to win this semester. No no questions asked. We're rolling this time. We're not. We're not stopping. Yeah, and uh, for those of you that don't know the history between these two teams, last semester, Mustangs won versus Marshalltown in the regular season and then lost to Marshalltown in the finals. Will we see a reversal of that this season with the Mustangs losing in the regular season? And obviously, both teams poised to make an incredible playoff run here. Uh, I believe there's one, maybe two weeks left in the regular season. How are you guys you know, going to look to end off the regular season on a high? 
Well, we're going to definitely get those next two wins. We're not going to get another loss under our belts. So we're going to go strong for those next two weeks and definitely figure out what will work before those playoff matches really come in and really determine whether we're staying here or we're gone. So we're not going to leave. We're going to stay throughout the entire thing. That's a promise that I will make to everyone on stream. We will try our hardest. We will do our best and we will make it to the playoffs and win that championship. And that is well and truly like what I love to hear. I don't have any other questions for you. What else do you have to say to this amazing Twitch chat we have here tonight? Any final remarks or final shout outs? Well, as always, as every time I'm on these interviews, I like to thank all family members, any brothers, sis all my brothers and sisters, um, anyone that's part, all my teammates, parents, and family members. Uh, the students that watch, the professors that even watch, and especially to my girlfriend to actually make it to one of my Wednesday's games. She's, <laughs> she wasn't able to because she has uh, dance classes, but this is the one week that she doesn't have it, and I'm sorry that I lost this today. I, I apologize. Don't hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> I, definitely, I definitely can understand that sentiment for tonight's match, and obviously, shout out to everyone that came out tonight. Uh, if it's your first time watching, if it's your 34th time watching, thank you guys so much for being here. An unfortunate loss for the Mustangs as they'll fall to the Tigers 3-1. to one. Join us here tomorrow for Valorant. Again, in the regular season, a couple of big wins under their belt. They're going to look to do it right again. And until then, I'm Corrupted or Jacob. Have yourselves a wonderful evening.